All right. Not so much going on yet here, but we've got a forward gold, forward berries. That's going to be a little bit tough to secure, potentially. King Alejandro. Thanks. So let's see. Back wood line. I like it. That, that's pretty much where you want to take it. Now, Red is coming forward and taking a little bit of these. He's Vietnamese, so you have to be a little careful of these. Vietnamese players, because, you know, they have the... They know where you are, so he just goes straight forward. He knows exactly. He scouted his base, and then he's like, straight forward. So you got to be a little careful about that. So how's the scouting? Uh, your scouting is kind of not that good. Here, let's go back to the start. How did you scout? Because what is up with this? Like, oh, man, what is this pattern? Okay, so you go here. You've already scouted the back with your, your scout. Okay. You're kind of just revealing all the same stuff. Wait, why are you scouting this again? Like, there was no reason. You already had everything. Okay. Anyways. Uh, oh. Slow. Slow down. Um, It was not too bad, I guess. But you, you, once you found that second set of sheep over here, then you should instantly send your scout forward. Instead of, um, instead of continuing to the back. You just use the sheep in the back. It's fine. Or, like, you could have pushed a deer or something. I don't know. Anyways. So, scouting, just paying a little bit more attention to the scout. It's not the biggest deal, actually. Honestly, it wasn't that bad, but it is something that can still be improved. Okay, barracks, so pre milled rush. Yep, makes sense with the four on wood. These days, I've been liking to get three on wood and just one on stragglers, and then use the straggler vill to build the vill, or build the barracks. It is really smooth because, watch, you're going to be floating wood here, and you're going to be up to feudal age on like 24 vills. And you can get up a little bit faster if you have one more food bill instead of one more wood bill. So it's actually pretty sweet. So, yeah, I I've been really liking that that way of doing it, that approach. Oh, 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 <laughs> no. Yeah, it's tough when you use the boar, the lure with the TC. You don't want to garrison because you don't want to lose the elephant, but you definitely don't want to lose the bill. Well, now you have to do damage. You have to do damage with this. Oh, we don't even have a thing in the queue. Come on. Come on. Let's queue. Go. Queue. Ay, ay, ay. Self lame. The self lame. Oof. Portuguese is only really good at Drush when they do the three militia variant as well because they have the extra, like, their, their uh, militia cost less, right? So if you do two militia Drush, you're not really getting anything from Portuguese. But if you do three militia Drush, it can be a little more efficient. Man, you have to go forward with this thing, though. Oh, man, you're going to miss your timing. And you have to go together as well. You're also wasting HP on the scout here. You don't want to take an even trade against the scout. You just run from that. And then you, like, get in with something else. Like, that. that's just not good because your militia... Now he knows about your militia, so now he's just going to wall. And also, you need your scout to block vills. So it's like, oh, my... And we're getting eaten by a line. That's why you go together with the militia as well. You don't split them. Uh, rarely is it good to actually split your militia when you're sending them across the map. These walls from him, yeah, I mean, they're functional. He, he probably shouldn't have placed this one here. Like, even maybe just some palisades here. Or, or like, here. Just draw them. He didn't need it like this. I don't know. It's fine. But, uh, anyways. Because uh, he eventually wants to wall out to here. So, I don't know. It's fine. This thing is just chilling. Worst rush either. Nah, I'm, I've seen worse. I mean, when you just throw the three militia under the TC, that's worse. Like, this was still... You still forced him to make his walls a little bit further back, which is kind of good. And you forced him... Well, these walls are kind of weird. If he knows the drush is coming, like, maybe he should be not trying to wall out to here. That kind of doesn't really make any sense. But, uh, anyways, how's the how's the eco at home? Because that's what actually matters here. Oh, hey, you went for long-distance deer. I like that. And you were paying attention, too. So, you're actually going to be able to get up here on 22? Well, I mean, we idled for one bill. So, it's uh, that's a little cheating. Just a little bit, but uh, anyways, nice plays. The long distance deer was really good. Okay, well, he has loom. Don't fight. I don't know. You're, you won't get that vill. He, he will not lose this vill. Yeah. So, what you want to do with the two militia here is you want to just, like, tap. And then when the enemy, when the enemy like, um, attacks you, then you run back. You just keep doing that over and over and over while you're doing nothing on the way to Feudal Age. Or, maybe I mean, you should make walls. But right now, it's like... You're not really doing anything at home. Like, well, that should never happen because you have no scout. Like, yeah, you need to be just paying attention to that. But, uh, 1200 ELO pro level idle TC nowadays. Yeah, 1200s are getting pretty good at not idling a TC. 
So it's pretty good. Sometimes I always feel like a one villain. Yeah, yeah. Well, militia do four damage, so or three damage to the um to the bills because the armor. So like you can kind of click your opponent's units just to make sure you have to do some quick maths though to figure out if you're actually gonna get the kill. But yeah, anyways, you're definitely not gonna get that one. Okay, archery range. So you have no eyes on the front. Of course, if you had your militia still alive, you could have eyes on the front and see. But you're gonna go for your own archery range. I do like that. Archers, pretty good follow-up here. Now, Vietnamese, they have the extra HP, so you got to be a little careful because their archers are going to be better. But yours archers are cheaper, so technically you should be able to make more. So it should be about the same here. No problems. You're getting the blacksmith already. Are you going to be able to actually use it? It seems like yes because you have 100 in the bank and you have 6 on food, so that means you will stay around. Oh, never mind. If you get a horse collar, you can't get, uh, you can't get the fletching upgrade here, but... It's fine, because you got the blacksmith a bit early anyways. It's like, what is Fletching going to do when you don't even have any archers? So, anyways, he's going to come forward with his first archer. I think waiting for two might be good. But I guess you don't have a scout, so it's not... It's fine. But I think if he waited for, like, three even, the first one come out and then two production cycles, he, he would do more damage. If he comes forward with one, it's like, he's going to force you off of gold, yeah, maybe. But also, you can react then you'll know exactly what's coming so i don't know not the greatest wait when did, oh yeah we lost the bill to the elephant that's what happened uh oh yeah you don't have a second lumber camp you're gonna get one now but i think a second lumber camp instead of that blacksmith would have been way better earlier and you could have had it on the way up also so rebalancing your economy on the way to the next age on the next on the way to the the feudal age things to watch out for second lumber camp if you can get it like you had this secured just go for it it's better than stragglers um also make sure that your balance is right like enough on berries enough on uh, uh farms and stuff and then obviously the wood balance is the key you have to have the right number on wood so yeah you are gonna get fletching now sweet oh man you're so out of position though you're trying to go you're trying to be fancy and like do a big um big old uh flank there but you needed to have your units here, but... Oh, kill these. Come on, kill these two. No, Micro, Micro. You need Micro in this fight. Micro, don't just stand. Oh, he has too much now. Oh, I mean... Eh. Come on, wall. Quick wall. Little gate. Little gate here. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So many little little uh, Micro details here. Would have made all the difference. This is a moment where Micro is actually really important. Obviously, the, the eco-management is the most important thing in this game, but in these little moments, you do need to micro your units properly. Just in those things, like... Because uh, you could have won that fight. Basically, he had his units split, so you go for the two that were down here, and then you clean up the three in the top afterwards. But you kind of just sat in between the two armies, so it was kind of bad. Uh, anyways, everything is cleaned up, so you're kind of fine now. Floating wood like crazy floating uh, or uh, TC idle time but yeah all these bills could probably just build a farm um when you know that your opponent has more than you sometimes it's better to just go for the tower just get a tower right here uh but yeah you gotta watch your wood float here this is where you spend your wood you're making skirms over bills I don't think skirms is better than making bills here I think making bills is better you have enough skirms to kind of force, force them away for now so it's fine especially if you're gonna go for the tower so, yeah, but you, you have to spend this wood. Like, 14 on wood? I would just get all of these, even a mill back here, and just all that. You can't really move across the map with skirms. You just have to chill in your base until Castle Age with this play. But it's fine. Like, the best you can hope for is to catch your opponent's army in the middle of the map with the skirms. But that's, like, probably not going to happen. And also, you don't have armor, so he will kill your skirms for free. But yeah, we need to spend this wood. This is the the main issue here. It's been, what, three minutes that we've been floating over 500 wood. So that is why you're going to be late to Castle Age. Your opponent's going to get to Castle Age first. He's going to have Crossbowmen. And he's going to just range all of your wood lines. And you're going to have a bad time. His walls are kind of crazy, though. Like, what are these? I kind of like it, though. He's never going to get housed. So it's probably okay. Wait, how's your wood? Oh, he has, like, no farms. What? You have way better farm economy. What is he spending his res on? I guess, uh, you know what he's spending his res on? All of these houses. <laughs> Never mind. 
Yeah, that's, so actually, you might be okay going up, because he, he spent it all on houses. I mean, at least he spent his wood, maybe on something that was not very useful right now, but, um, all right. <laughs> I mean, that's why you don't just get a bunch of houses. Oh, and he basically just put a hole for you. That's cool. His base is so aesthetic, though. Like, that, that looks pretty sweet. That looks pretty cool. But, I mean, he's he's got his gate on the wrong side of his base. Oof. Who's in a vill? Whatever. You got the market. Might as well just sell all your uh, wood and just go up. If you sold all your wood right now, you'd be fine. You could even go to stone right now. It's not even bad. Like, you have enough to just, like, patrol up this hill and then force him back. Because if you patrol up the hill, as long as, like, you always move back so that only his front line can shoot, then uh, it'll be, like, four versus two or whatever. Because there's like a little concave here. Shooting palisades with archers to just repair it. Yeah, hey, true. <laughs> uh, okay, we're getting ready to go up. Our Vietnamese player made scouts though, so that could be a little bit uh, difficult to deal with. Yep. Ah, you just get your, you just finish your walls. I would love to see just a palisade gate here and uh, some houses here. Palisade gate here is fine because you have the tower, so. Come on, get your walls so the scouts don't dive the skirms. Come on. All right, whatever. You're going to be up, so that's good. And a, oh, a four-tile gap here. Perfect for a palisade gate. Can I interest you in a palisade gate? Or even a stone gate, honestly? Yeah, there we go. You're thinking. Stone gate, it works here because he has the... You already have the tower, right? So you might as well just stone gate. The only reason we don't normally make stone stuff is because we want to save the 200 stone for TCs. But honestly, if you already made the tower, stone gate is going to be better. But yeah, whatever. Palisade gate is still good. You need to finish this walls though. Uh, yeah, we need to get a production building. So what are you doing in the next age? You're kind of like not set up for anything. You're still making skirms. You don't really have a proper unit here. Like this is kind of scary though. Like I guess skirms is kind of fine here because you know he has so much. Uh, we need to see a house here, and we need to see another house here, so he can't dive. If you don't get a house here, you're going to lose the game. Stables? Alright. You only have one stable, though. Okay. This was a little... Like, look, he's going to go here. Mm, he's not going to be able to do anything, though. It'll be fine. Oh, those scouts, though. Oh, boy. You don't... Oh, you have armor. Okay, yeah, it's fine. Armored skirms are pretty insane. Okay. Yeah, you just... You need to use your skirms here, though. She's dead. Okay. Skirmisher upgrades. Come on. Yeah, you definitely need elite skirm cube behind this. He can't actually kill you here. This is fine. If you just get elite skirmisher here, then you're you're good. Cue the upgrade. Oh, you don't have... No, you're making useless knights that aren't going to do anything. Oh! The classic... The classic 1200 play where you just make a bunch of random stuff instead of just do one thing and then do another thing. Oh no! Like, you don't have gold, right? So. Elite Skirmisher instead of this useless knight. Way better play, in my opinion. No, we're gonna make a siege workshop, but you don't have any gold! You're gonna have to sell food. Oh man, you could have had Elite Skirm already and you would have killed the scouts with Elite Skirms. Like, they're actually just a good unit. You're still going to push this back somehow, but, man, you just need Elite Skirm, and then you're fine. And then you can do so much so much other things. There's so many other things. But, I mean, like, we got the stables. We can't even use them. Skirm's best unit in the game. Yeah, agreed. Come on. Get the Skirm upgrade. You're, like, still making Skirms, so. I'm sure you'll get it after this Skirm comes out. Knights without plus two right now is scouts. Yeah, they're basically as good as scouts. Exactly. Get the skirm upgrade. If you had elite skirm, you could go out on the map and just win because you'd just kill his army and then go kill him. But you're kind of just like making a bunch of random upgrades that don't actually help you right now. So you're kind of giving up all the initiative. He's like, you had the tech advantage if you had just clicked elite skirmisher and then went across the map, but you're kind of throwing away the tech advantage. So one thing that your opponent gets from going up slower is that he has a better economy. So he's going to have better eco 
better military, and same tech. So where's your advantage in this game if you just sit around in your base? You have no advantage in this game. Um, so you had to take... Like, you went up faster, so you were going to have the tech advantage if you just used it. If you just, like, made the techs and then went forward and, and did stuff with it. But suddenly, your opponent's going to be on the same tech. He's going to have the eco and a much better military. Unless you bada boom here. Get another one of those. Oh! Pretty good. Okay, he still has the... He still has, like, double your army, though. Stubborn going on knights. Yeah, but you were set up for skirms. And also, you were against mass archers. So, just... Like, you can still go knights. But what you need to do is you need to just click the skirm upgrade, kill his archers, and then you go knights. You can't just, like make some skirms and then not upgrade them and then try and make some knights that aren't actually going to contribute. That's the problem. We still need elite skirm. Like, come on. <laughs> get the upgrade. You can't make this many skirms with Bodkin Arrow and then just not get the most important upgrade. Okay. So, what's the plan from here? Whoa, we got the elite skirm coming in. Let's go. He's got light cav. Light cav's not a good play from him. So that's actually good for you. Light cav is a huge waste of resources. Oh, he's going to go for castle drop. Oh, is he going to be able to get it up though? We'll see. The elite skirms are coming in. The elite skirms are going to kill the light cav. It's not like he has plus two. Elite skirms counter light cav. So it's fine. Oh, that was a good attack round right there. Oh, but you probably should make your guy do something else plan is to raid yeah i mean you are gonna raid oh wait do you not see the the gate man just kill the gate it just goes down instantly all right whatever uh where's he going he, even if he castle drops up here it doesn't even matter you just relocate you don't care about this area oh he's off by five does he not have a market he doesn't have a market he's off by five stone that's why i can't do it oh that's why we're chilling all right that's good you're in oh you're in in both spots Okay, do you have plus two? You don't. Oh, oh, the forging. Plus two armor is so necessary. If you're going to go under TCs, you have to get plus two armor. Get up. Yes. Ah, you're going to see this with the random build that decided to go out. Ah, that's hacks. <laughs> Auto scout. That guy probably got hit by something and then he's... I don't even know what he's up to. Like, what even is... A couple... What are you doing? He has crossbowmen. Why... What went through your brain is like, I'm going to get my Vill to attack the Vills when there's crossbowmen. Was was that really the reaction that we want to do? I think the, the correct reaction was uh, run up here. <laughs> all right, anyways. Uh, no plus two. You're losing all your knights for free. Because no plus two, that's a problem. That is a problem. If you just had armor, you would have just destroyed his entire economy. I mean, you're still kind of killing him because he's not reacting, but... Uh, he also brought his army back, which was pretty risky, because you could have easily just denied this. Um, but I guess you didn't know that he went back. So, anyways. Okay, plus two is gonna be in when all of your knights are already dead. So, that's, uh, that's not good. All the knights are basically dead. Finally, we can go under the TC, but, uh, all the knights are dead. So, uh, basically. Alright, uh, but... You killed his, most of his eco, so now the game is a little more even. Your opponent still has a pretty good army, but it's at his base. This castle does absolutely nothing. You don't even care about this castle. Just just ignore it until you're imp. Like, you can ignore this castle for the entire game. That castle should have been here. If it was here and take you off of gold, then where's your gold? You have gold here. And uh, where is the other gold, actually? It's like... Wait, actually, where is it? I can't even see. I'm blind. It's here, right? So, yeah. If he's got the castle here, you actually just lose this game. Because all your gold is outside. But, uh, anyways. You still have gold, so you're fine. Okay. Losing some bills. Repairing the house. <laughs> uh, stone mining upgrade. Alright. You have enough for a castle, but where are you going to place it? You're going to go forward? That would be pretty epic. I think securing this gold is probably good. It's kind of hard, though. Like, there's this hill, so... I mean, if you could somehow get a castle here, you are in a great spot. It's probably not going to happen, though. Dead Bill. Monastery. 
to heal the, the these guys. This makes sense. You got a couple weak ones. What you want to do is select your knights and then control click the weak ones out, and then you can uh, rebind the control group here. And then you have all high HP knights, and the weak ones are get left behind. It's really good to do. Okay, so what's the plan here? It doesn't really look like we have a plan. We're like making some random skirms. We're kind of making mamonkas. We don't. We're only one TC, so I mean. You have to go in from here. You don't want to make any units. You want to... Oh, oh, what did I do? I pressed something. I think it went back a bit. Uh, what you want to do is get a castle here, go imp, and then trap this down. Like, that's... But the thing is, is, like, you aren't on a very good unit composition to go imp. Like, this is a good castle age composition, but uh, if you go imp, you can't really afford to upgrade both unit types, so you won't really get anything from going imp, other than treps. So you have to get a good castle. And then you can treb some stuff down or whatever. Looks like, uh, I don't, I don't know. We're just kind of chilling on one TC, doing nothing. This castle, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's fine. I would have rather seen this, though. You sh Wait, your opponent's imp? Dang. Yeah, lacking the second TC here was really bad. You really need to get a second TC. Oh, these are like poles farms here. Uh... We have all the ecotex other than hand cards, so that's okay. We're getting armor now, but, like, for what? It's just lowering, like, unless you're about to take a fight. Getting armor here is kind of not really going to do too much. Like, I guess it's fine, I guess, but you need to go up. Like, if you had, if you didn't get that, you would have been up a little bit faster. That would have been better. Oh, this is really good, though. I wonder if he's going to see it. Putting the vills inside. Oh, hey, that's pretty good. You don't have ballistics, though, so you aren't going to kill as many. But uh, let's go up. Let's make the university for ballistics. Those are kind of the things that you need to do right now. I'm going imp, like he's already imp, so you gotta click that button. University for uh, what's it called? Masonry is also pretty good. He's gonna go for this castle. All right. Uh, where are we going? I mean, could have raided him again. You actually probably would have just won the game if you raided him at this stage. You're trying to be too sneaky. Just, like, sometimes just go where you know there's a hole. Overchop. No, is it? Yeah, it's overchop right here. Go, 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 go. Let's go. It's going to be a lot of ills going down here. As long as you don't throw all these knights. You've actually done so much damage where you don't need to overcommit and throw all the knights. There we go. You've done enough damage. Now, yeah, move on to the next TC, potentially. Now, what can your opponent even doing, or what can your opponent even do with his upgrade or with his uptime? He will be able to get uh, Arbalister. Wait, he added in Rattans. Ooh, that's gonna be hard. This castle doesn't really make a lot of sense. It secures these resources, but you don't really care too much about those right now. Like, you gotta, you gotta deal. Like, your opponent should be in your base with his units right now, killing your entire economy. Like, that castle should have been forced to be, like, in your economy. But he's kind of, like, not hitting his tech timing. Just like what you were doing in, in uh, Castle Age. He's not hitting that in Imperial Age. Like, he should have had Bracer, Arbalister, Chemistry, and then just kill you. Just, like, kill the walls and then kill you. But uh, he kind of just is chilling with his units. So he's also giving you enough time to go up to Imp and get your own upgrades. Well, hey, you ended up denying this. Although you don't have ballistics, so you, you really need a clue into that. That would have been like three... No, no, that would have been like five or six fill kills, which would have been so good. Okay, you're up now. So, I mean, you just make trebs. There we go. He has the high ground here, though. This is a huge high ground. Uh, where's your upgrades, though? Bracer. Oh, no, 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 no. You need Bracer here. Look at, look at what he has. The armor, yeah, okay, but this is this is the most pressing matter here. You're gonna throw all your skirms here. That's gonna be a problem. The mangonels are gonna do absolutely nothing. Oi, 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 oi. They'll do nothing. Yeah. Pretty much nothing. You're repairing against uphill trebs, so yeah, this castle was never really that good. Unless you go for a castle here as well. Okay. Really need bracer or even the armor, but like you're throwing your units before you get upgrades again. You have our armor on these things, so yeah, going for the raid at that timing was good. And actually, Cavaliers coming in, but you kind of threw your your uh, 
Skirm's there. There was no reason to have them go forward. So just needed to be patient. This thing is going to fall, though. I think you probably should just give it up and, and go for a different hill. Just need to spend the res. Yeah, I think just bringing everything back here, probably the best. Like, yeah, you're raiding. Red is probably still dead in this game because of the raids. But, I mean, arbs are still pretty scary. The fact that you don't have ballistics still is really bad, too. Ballistics is so key here. Oh, we're getting ranges on the front. I mean, he has military here. Like, I don't know about this. Maybe we place it in a nice, uh, nicer area. Wait, are we auto reseed or something? Is that what? Oh, no, we aren't auto reseed. Okay. You just don't have any wood. Okay. I commend the non auto reseed. That's good. Okay. So at this point, you just need to have some skirms. Like, you just need some skirms and you win. But you kind of lost uh, all the skirms there for free. If you just had fully upgraded skirms, you would have won that fight, though. But they all died when they were still 2-2. Two -two. Okay, this is doing pretty okay. You can queue more bills, too. Like, you kind of stopped making bills when he put the pressure, but you needed to be, like, 130 bills right now. You definitely could have been as well. You had the... You had lots of time. You had the second TC, which is okay, but... Anyways, um... I would just buy wood here for skirms. If you're lacking wood... Yeah, exactly. That's exactly what you just did. Sweet. And we're just missing chemistry, and then you have everything. Chemistry is, like, not as big of a deal, I guess, but... It is still good to get. Okay. Red should never catch up to you in bill count. Like, you're, you're kind of letting him have the eco advantage again. Well, he, he doesn't have the eco advantage, but uh, you're letting him catch up. So all you just need to do is just click them TCs and click the bill buttons. Even if you just queued 15 bills in this TC, it would have been a better use of just having the wood in your food bank. Or in your bank, I guess. Uh, you can fight his army now, actually. Yeah, you have enough. He can't, he can't fight this. Just go. Go, 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 go. You don't have ballistics, though. Oh, man, get ballistics. With ballistics, all these units die here. Without ballistics, it's like... Okay, well, he's not microing, but... With ballistics, you kill all of these. Look, oh, my... It looks so bad when units aren't dying. And they should be. You have the university, too. Okay. Well, I like your position in the game. Let's speed it up a little bit, though. Okay, that's a lot of food. I mean, you could just full Q Cavalier, too. That'd be good. You really need to get Trebs going, though. Like, this castle doesn't really protect you. Blast Furnace coming in. I mean, you just need to make stuff. That's that's really all that needs to happen here. You have so much res. Just make stuff. Just go to your, go to your production. Just shift Q, like, 15 units in every single production building. Uh, honestly, get more production buildings as well. This castle doesn't make any sense. Why are we getting a castle here? Like, I mean, you don't have trebs even to support. Like, I mean, I guess you're making them, but that, like, why not go for a more central castle? Or why not, why not go for this castle here and push him? Yeah, he has trebs there, but you make, you bring the cavalier, you kill the trebs, you get the castle here, you kill this, then you win. Uh, you're still raiding, but you're raiding under castles with these, and look! You didn't build a vill. You still have 86 vills. You're finally building vills, but Red is just... He made economy. I don't know. You just, like, stopped making vills. And now Red is actually in a much better spot. Well, you have 7k food. Like, you just need to use it. But uh, Red is potentially in a good spot. Now, you will kill his castle because he doesn't have any more stone. And he's going to get out of there with his trebs. Yep. Throwing light cav is maybe not what you want to do. You want to mass. I think the best thing that you can do now is just mass 200-200, get an army, and just push. Get rid of this. Like, he's stealing your gold. You can try and raid, but, I mean, he has castles in good positions. Red's castles were pretty okay this game, actually. Uh, but, yeah. You just gotta just think. Sometimes you just gotta, like, you get caught up in the action, and you stop doing basic things, but, uh... In this situation, just just go back to your base and just think. You're, yeah, maybe your army's going to die, but it's like the most important thing here, making like 10 more production buildings, like 10 more ranges, 10 more stables, whatever. You have the res for it. It's going to be good. These trebs, what are these trebs? Come on, come on, come on. Notice, 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 notice. Repair. 
You had light cav up here too. Come on, bring the army. <laughs> bring the army. Oh. All right. Well, you had an idea. The raids are good though. Like you, you've done enough damage to red, and you also got your. Well, you got the vill count out pretty high, but you still stop vills again. I mean, you only have one TC, so maybe you should add some more. But it's like. Just these little things. Okay. Oh, yeah. This this is going to be a good raid. Even under the castles. It's like, at this point, if you can kill, like, 10, 15 vills with the light cap, it's... Oh, yeah. That was already worth it. Not only does it kill the vills, it also idles the other vills, too. You have the pop lead, but not by that much. I think dealing with this is pretty important, though. Okay. We're finally adding a few more vills. But, uh... I mean, you just need more production buildings. You have three rain... No. You have ranges, but you're not using them as well. Like, you have four ranges. I don't know how you're using only three of them. Maybe you're not using select all? Uh, wait. Where are you queuing stuff? That, oh, you're queuing... Yeah, you're not using select all military production. That's that's why you're having issues with, um... With queuing stuff. I'm assuming. Because if you were using select all, then you'd be using these ones, too. So... It's just the superior way to queue units these days. Okay, maybe now we're doing it. I don't know. Uh, you should just be able to flood them, though, at this point. Like, you have the better economy. You have fully upgraded units. So, yeah. What is he going to have? Like, the Rattans aren't actually going to do well against the Skirms. He's going to lose his Trebs if you focus them. I guess not. It's fine, though. He's, like, what is he? He's trying to kill this. He's just hoping that you won't see it. What is this play? <laughs> I remember the days where that was, like, one of my strats is, oh, this will work really well if my opponent doesn't see this. Well, this was a bit of a disaster. What even happened here? We need to see this fight. What even happened? Oh, all the, oh, he had light cap. Oh, that's why. Yeah, I guess, well, he has the R upgrades, so, yeah. Ooh, that's a bit of a disaster here. That was pretty bad, that... I mean, you're kind of, like, really deep. You're really deep with, like, no castle support. So, in this situation, selling some of that wood, just buying a castle. Like, imagine you just bought a castle here or bought a castle here or something. Then you're fine. But you had no way to, like, save this army if he has too much. Like, you need a castle to run back to. So, yeah, just buying a castle here would have been sweet. You buy a, you bought stone to repair, but, like, eh, you're repairing a kind of a useless castle now. Like, this castle is not that important because you already took the gold and the stone from there. You just need a mass. Oh, this is looking bad. You lost all your bills. He raided. He raided you way better. Okay, so this story, in the end here, you're, you're actually losing this game. But um, in the end, it was because your castle positions were really bad. So you needed to place the castles more defensively. Like Red. Red had really good castles this game. You couldn't really effectively raid him because the castles were in good positions. Your castles were just like in the middle of nowhere. Like here, this castle does absolutely nothing for you. It's like, yeah. The two castles in your economy and then you're fine. But uh, yeah, no, the game's over now. You, you don't have any, uh, you don't have any bills. You also, of course, didn't make enough bills. There, like there are a lot of things that went wrong. We went, we went over them all though. I think you're gonna tap out here pretty soon with this uh, this few villagers. GGs. It was looking pretty good there for a while, but those late game raids can really get to you if you don't um, if you don't have castles in your economy or you don't have walls. What was this that we got at the end? Paper money. Nice. Well, well played. Ooh, both players pretty fast actually. But. Uh, not using the APM for good, only for evil. Left for one minute. How did Red win? He got Light Cav in and killed like a million uh, Vils. Somehow the... F yeah, yeah, yeah. Because Blue never went f went to push this. He just needed to push this. It would have been easy. Make a couple Trebs. Put the army by the Trebs. Kill this. And then move on to the next part of the game. But Red was able to just expand out here because this castle's kind of protecting the side. And uh, yeah, Red had really good castles this game. GG's. Yeah, I think we learned a lot from that one. That was a really good one.
scared for you to remove your video game. I mean, I don't have to be as uh, as aggressive with the coaching. <laughs> I only do one replay per stream, 